Come. Well done, Son Goku. <laughs> Did you come this far to face the gods? I have my purposes, and that ends now. I confess this will be interesting. Daishikun is among the five most powerful in the universes. I count on you, Goku. <laughs> <laughs> that energy! I hope you know what you're doing, Son Goku. You know very well that you don't stand a chance, and yet you still fight. Come on, then. Come on, Son Goku. <laughs> Those cheap tricks won't work on me! Now I can see everything! <laughs> Try to hit me if you can, Son Goku. <laughs> I've trained long enough to be able to feel the energy of angels! And that's it! I can see! <laughs> what? Come on, Son Goku! Is that all you can show? Kamehameha! I 
should have expected it. I'm finally the father of all angels. Come on! Let's go! Impossible. What just happened? My arm. Was a mortal really capable of doing this to the father of angels? <laughs> Son Goku is your name. Formidable. It actually gets exciting. Even so, now you will see my true power. <laughs> you are amazing, Son Goku. It has been a long time since I last used that power. <laughs> My true form. The true father of angels. I still need to get used to it. I haven't used this transformation for millennia. You are worthy, Son Goku. Shall we go to the second round? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I am Gokui, and the show starts now. This is Absolute Cinema! Two days passed since Daishikan had informed all the gods of destruction about Goku's new title. The palace buzzed with its celestial anticipation as each of God of Destruction arrived, accompanied by their respective angels. Ketela, the god of destruction from Universe 4, entered the hall with a stormy expression. His arrival signaled the displeasure upon seeing Goku standing beside Daishikan. Daishikan? Explain why this mortal is present in such assembly! Goku's presence here is of a great importance for the balance of Universe 7 and beyond. He has ascended to the title of God Killer. Kitala's angel, Kognak, stood calmly beside him, her expression neutral yet observant. Goku! A mortal challenging the divine! Preposterous! I understand your concerns, Kitella, but I assure you, I will use my power responsibly. The other gods of destruction observed the exchange with varying degrees of interest and curiosity. Mosko, the god of destruction from Universe 3, stroked his chin thoughtfully, while Arak from Universe 5 leaned back with a contemplative expression. Elder Daishikun! Liquid, the god of destruction from Universe 8, spoke up. What implications does this title have for the mortal level of Universe 7? Goku's ascension reflects a new phase of mortal evolution. It demonstrates the potential for mortals to reach unprecedented levels of power and responsibility. Ah, uh, very well, Daishikan. We shall respect your decision. As the tension began to dissipate, Daishikan addressed the assembly once more. Let us consider Goku's role as a catalyst for progress and balance. With his power, Universe 7 enters a new era. Goku remained steadfast, acknowledging the weight of his newfound title amidst the Divine Assembly. Though challenges lay ahead, he was determined to fulfill his rule as the God Killer with integrity and purpose. Beerus smiled, his amusement evident as he watched the proceedings unfold in Daishikan's palace. Whis, ever observant, noted the shifting dynamics among the Gods of Destruction. Goku is truly remarkable. Yes. But Daishikun's announcement here has caused some tension, don't you think? The other gods of destruction aren't reaction favorably. Indeed, the atmosphere in the Grand Hall was palpably charged. Sidra, the god of destruction from Universe 9, exchanged glances with his attendant Mojito, a frown creasing in his brow. Ramshi of Universe 10 observed with an air of disapproval. His eyes narrowed. I fear this news will not sit well with everyone. <laughs> <sighs> well, there I'll have to get used to it. Goku's strength isn't something to be underestimated. Let us consider the balance and potential of Universe 7. Daishikan stated, Goku's rise signifies a new era of mortal prowess. We must embrace this evolution. The gods of destruction exchanged looks, their expressions a mixture of contemplation and reservation. Perhaps. Mule, the god of destruction of Universe 12, interjected. We should view this as an opportunity for cooperation and advancement. Exactly! Goku's strengths could benefit us all, after all. 
Beerus nodded in agreement. Whis observed the unfolding discourse, his demeanor calm yet watchful. Amidst the uncertainty, he remained poised, ever attuned to the subtle undercurrents among the Divine Assembly. Ewan, the god of destruction from Universe 1, posed his question to Daishikan with a measured tone. His curiosity piqued by the notion of a god killer among mortals. What is the necessity of having a god killer among us now? <laughs> I'm glad you asked that. There is another mortal with a benevolent heart who has reincarnated into an ancient deity, posing a potential threat to the future. Goku has been tasked with confronting this being should the need arise. However, if any of you disagree or wish to test the strength of the new god killer, you are welcome to do so. As the gravity of the Daishikan's words settled over the assembly, Goku felt a tinge of apprehension. Goku understood the weight of his role just there and the challenges it would entail. You, mortal! Yuan regarded Goku. You will be tested like none other. We shall see if you're truly worthy of this title. <clears throat> I will face any challenge that comes my way, Iwan. Gin, the god of destruction from Universe 12, spoke with a calm demeanor as he addressed the Grand Priest. I would like to test the powers of Son Goku. Goku's face lit up with excitement upon hearing the proposition. What do you think, Son Goku? The Grand Priest asked. Beerus, who had maintained a serious countenance, couldn't help but crack a smile at the prospect of an impending battle. <laughs> I'm up for it! Goku declared, his eyes gleaming with anticipation. The Grand Priest nodded, his expression serene yet inscrutable. Very well. Let us proceed to the arena. Gin led the way his ethereal aura radiating a sense of authority. Goku followed suit, his heart racing with excitement for the imminent confrontation with the God of Destruction from Universe 12. As Goku activated Ultra Instinct and stepped into the meticulously crafted arena under Daishikan's watchful eye, all the Gods of Destruction fixed their eyes upon the scene. Katala, the God of Destruction from Universe 4, voiced his skepticism with a sneer. Goku will regret this! <laughs> Daishigan, ever composed and deliberate, gestured for the match to commence. Let the battle begin! Goku, his silver hair flowing with ethereal radiance, assumed a poised stance. The energy around him hummed with intensity as he awaited the first move from Gin, the god of destruction from Universe 12. Gin surveyed Goku with a keen eye, assessing the mortal's readiness. With a subtle nod, he acknowledged Goku's formidable presence and then launched forward, his aura exploding with raw, destructive power. Goku's Ultra Instinct reacted instinctively, effortlessly dodging Gin's initial assault. The ring reverberated with each strike, Goku's movements a belay of grace and power. The other gods of destruction watched with silent awe their expressions betraying a mixture of intrigue and wariness. The battle unfolded, with unparalleled speed and precision showcasing Goku's mastery of Ultra Instinct against Gin's calculated fury. Each clash resonated throughout the Celestial Arena, a testament to the magnitude of their power. As the skirmish intensified, Goku's resolve remained unshaken, his eyes glinted with anticipation. Determination and body in the essence of a warrior honed by countless trials. Daishigan observed the clash with a serene demeanor, his wisdom guiding the flow of the battle. This was not just a merely test of strength, but a revelation of the potential hidden within Goku's indomitable spirit. In the midst of the titanic struggle, the gods witnessed the birth of a legend, the mortal known as Son Goku, now transcending mortal boundaries to confront the pantheon of destruction itself. As the battle between Goku and Gin unfolded in the Celestial Arena, the Gods of Destruction observed with growing fascination. Murmurs filled the air as they witnessed Goku's Ultra Instinct, now honed to a level surpassing his clash with Jiren. He has improved significantly since his encounter with Jiren. The intensity of his Ultra Instinct is remarkable, observed Liquir. Indeed, Goku's growth is astonishing. His mastery over Ultra Instinct is on another level. Arak, the god of destruction from Universe 5, nodded in agreement. <laughs> this isn't even his full power. Beerus regarded Goku confidently. Tompo, the former pride trooper and candidate for god of destruction, watched intently. Goku's determination knows no bounds. He's pushing his limits further than ever before. 
Gaishikan, the Grand Priest, maintained his composed demeanor. His gaze fixed on the dynamic clash before him. He recognized the significance of his moment. A moment of immortal transcending into the realm of gods. The battle raged on. Goku's expression was one of eager anticipation as he faced Gin in the celestial arena. His eyes locked onto Gin's determined gaze. It'll be a pleasure to fight you, Gin. I'll show you exactly why mortals should think twice about tangling with the Hakaishins. Gin's response was stern. The arena crackled with energy as each combatant pushed their limits. Spectators watched in awe as the battle unfolded. A testament to the indomitable spirit of mortals and the formidable power of the divine. Beerus, observing from the sidelines, grinned. This is getting interesting. Weez nodded. Indeed, it's a rare opportunity to witness such a confrontation. Meanwhile, Daishikan maintained his serene demeanor, his presence overseeing the duel with a watchful eye. He knew that this clash would leave a lasting impact in the cosmic order, regardless of its outcome. Belmod, the god of destruction from Universe 11, leaned over to Margarita, his attendant, as they watched the intense battle between Goku and Gin unfold. Margarita, do you think Goku stands a chance against Gin? Gin is formidable, my lord, but Goku's Ultra Instinct has grown even stronger. It's hard to predict. <laughs> Goku always surprises us, doesn't he? Let's see what he's capable of. The arena reverberated with the clash of mortal and deity, each strike and dodge echoing across the cosmic stage. Goku's determination and Gin's unwavering resolve clashed in a spectacle of power and skill. As the battle intensified, Balmod and Margarita continued to watch with a mixture of anticipation and curiosity. The outcome of this duel would not only impact the fighters, but would also resonate with the entire pantheon of gods. In the midst of the celestial arena, Goku pressed forward, his resolve unyielding. The fight against Gin was a testament to his relentless pursuit of strength and the unbreakable spirit that defied him. Gin's power surged as he unleashed a flurry of attacks against Goku, his movements fluid and precise. Goku marveled at Gin's strength, his eyes focused and determination unwavering as he skillfully dodged each incoming strike. The arena crackled with energy as Goku and Gin danced around each other, their battle intensifying with each passing moment. Goku's ultra instinct allowed him to react swiftly, but Gin's relentless assault pushed him to his limits. Your skills are impressive, Goku, but you underestimate the power of a god of destruction! <laughs> I love a good challenge. As Goku evaded another series of devastating attacks, the other gods of destruction watched on. Their expressions a mixture of interest and curiosity. Belmont leaned closer to Makarita, his eyes fixed on the battle. Gin is formidable, but Goku's adaptability is unmatched. This fight will reveal just how far Goku has come. Indeed. Goku's growth is extraordinary. As Goku analyzed Gin's movements, he noticed a shift in the god's energy. Gin's aura intensified, crackling with a dark and ominous power. Suddenly, Gin's appearance transformed as he tapped into his Rakai form for the first time. Beerus, observing from the sidelines, was taken aback by the sudden surge of power. <coughs> That's Gin's Rakai form. Indeed, it appears Gin has decided to unveil his true strength. Whis nodded calmly. Gin's Hakai form emanated an unsettling energy, causing the arena to tremble. His attacks became swifter and more destructive, each strike infused with the energy of destruction itself. Goku's eyes widened as he sensed the immense power radiating from his opponent. Goku focused, his energies, instincts guiding him as he evaded Gin's relentless assault. Despite the overwhelming force of Akai, Goku's determination burned brighter. He knew he had enough to adapt quickly to this new challenge. As the battle intensified, Goku's ultra instinct surged, allowing him to match Gin's incredible speed. Each strike of their power sent shockwaves across the arena, capturing the attention of every deity presence. Gin's eyes gleamed with an intensity as he pushed Goku to his limits. Impressive, Saiyan! Let's see how long you can withstand the power of destruction! I won't back down! As the other gods of destruction observed the intense battle unfolding between Goku and Gin, many began to believe that Goku would be outmatched by Gin's formidable Hakai form. The arena trembled with each clash of their energies, and it seemed as though Gin held the upper hand. However, Daishigan, the Grand Priest, watched with a serene smile. His eyes glimmered with anticipation as he beheld the spectacle before him. It's fascinating to witness the evolution of mortal warriors. 
If Goku were merely the same as he was during the Tournament of Power against Jiren, this battle would have concluded already. Oh? What do you mean, Daishikan? Beerus questioned. Goku has stepped into a power that transcends even the Ultra Instinct he displayed against Jiren. This battle will reveal the true extent of his growth. As Goku and Gin continue their fierce exchange, Goku's aura began to shift. The aura around him crackled with raw energy, and his eyes shone with determination. In a sudden surge, Goku's power expanded, enveloping him in a radiant blue-white aura that resembled the brilliance of the stars. The other gods of destruction observed in astonishment as Goku's form underwent a transformation. Daishigan's gaze remained fixed on Goku, his expression serene yet expectant. <laughs> this is the power that surpasses everything. Daishigan mused, his voice calm amid the chaos of battle. Goku's aura intensified, and he met Gin's attack with newfound strength and resolve. The arena vibrated with a clash of their energies, and Goku's movements became more fluid and precise. Gin, taken aback by Goku's sudden surge of power, struggled to keep up with the Saiyan's movements. The other gods of destruction watched in rapt attention as Goku unleashed his true potential, pushing the limits of portal capability. As the battle reached its zenith, Daishigan's smile never wavered. He knew that this confrontation would not only test Goku's strength, but also unveil a power that transcended the boundaries between mortal and divine. Goku, his eyes steady and determined, faced Gin with a calm resolve amidst the intensity of their clash. As Gin expressed doubt, Goku's aura surged around him, radiating with an otherworldly glow. I'm not bluffing. Let me show you the power that transcends even the Hakai. With that declaration, Goku's energy surged even further his aura pulsating with an immense force. The very fabric of the arena seemed to tremble in response. Gin, visibly taken aback by Goku's unwavering confidence, tensed as he prepared for Goku's next move. The other gods of destruction watched in anticipation, their expressions a mix of curiosity and skepticism. In the burst of blinding light, Goku's form shifted once more. His aura transformed into a dazzling blend of azure and silver, reminiscent of the stars themselves. The air crackled with raw power as Goku unleashed the full extent of his newfound abilities. Gin, sensing the impending onslaught, readied himself. What are you planning, Goku? Goku's gaze locked onto Gin, a smile playing at the corner of his lips. Prepare yourself. This is the power that will surpass even the gods of destruction. As Goku surged forward, his movements were fluid and precise, each strike resonating with extraordinary energy. Gin struggled to keep pace, his own Hakai power pushed to its limits by Goku's unyielding determination. The arena rumbled with the force of their clash, the very ground beneath them trembling with each exchange. Goku's power seemed boundless, his movements a testament to the limitless potential of mortals. Daishigan observed with keen interest, his expression unchanged as he witnessed the unfolding battle. Remarkable. In that moment, Goku embodied the very essence of a god killer, his power resonating with the potential to challenge even the highest echelons of divine authority. Goku, his eyes blazing with anticipation and determination, focused his energy with unparalleled intensity. The entire arena quaked as he channeled his power causing even the gods of destruction to pause in apprehension. Whispers of awe and fear rippled through the assembly. In a surge of radiant light, Goku's transformation reached its apex. His body took on the celestial hue of the angels, a shimmering testament to his ascent to the realm of gods. His aura, now iridescent manifestation of divine might, enveloped the arena in an ethereal glow. Yin. His gaze, fixed upon Goku's transformed state, felt a chill run down his spine. He had never witnessed such a fusion of mortal and divine power before. The very air crackled with anticipation as Goku prepared to unleash his full potential. Goku's voice rang out, resonating and unwavering. This is the power that would surpass even the gods themselves! The other gods of destruction exchanged uneasy glances, their expressions a mixture of respect and apprehension. Daishigan, ever composed, observed with keen interest, his demeanor would betray no hint of surprise. Gin, steeling himself against the overwhelming energy radiating from Goku, raised his guard. 
<laughs> You've reached a level few mortals can even fathom! With a single motion, Goku launched himself forward. Silent, beyond limit. His movement swift and decisive. The arena trembled beneath his feet as he'd closed the distance between himself and Gin. Gin, now fully aware of the magnitude of Goku's power, braced for impact. The clash that followed was nothing short of cataclysmic, each strike resonating with the weight of galaxies. As the battle raged on, Goku's celestial form blazed with unprecedented brilliance. He wielded the might of a god killer, his every move embodying the convergence of mortal ambition and divine authority. This was the moment Daishigan had foreseen. This is the emergence of a mortal whose power could challenge even the gods themselves. Gin, still cloaked in his formidable Hakai form, let out a boisterous laugh as he beheld Goku's transformed states. <laughs> so this is the true power of a god killer! Hmm. Prepare yourself, Gin. You haven't seen anything yet. In an instant, Goku vanished from sight, moving with a swiftness that defied comprehension. The air crackled with residual energy as he reappeared before Gin in a burst of speed, delivering a thunderous blow. Gin's laughter abruptly ceased as Goku's punch connected, sending shockwaves through the arena. The other gods of destruction, their eyes widening in astonishment, struggled to track Goku's movements. Daishigan observed with keen interest, his expression unreadable. This mortal, Goku, had transcended their expectations, embodying the convergence of a mortal power and celestial might. Gin, now reeling from the impact, grappled with a sudden realization that Goku's true capabilities are unfathomable. The arena fell silent, the gravity of the moment palpable. As the dust settled, Goku stood unwavering, his aura pulsating with incandescent power. This is the power that will reshape the cosmos. Daishigan chuckled softly, his eyes gleaming with satisfaction as he observed Goku's newfound strength. We, standing beside him, nodding in acknowledgement, recognizing the remarkable progress Goku had made during his training. Meanwhile, Gin, still shrouded in his formidable Hakai form, braced himself as Goku unleashed the colossal Kamehameha. The devastating energy surged towards Gin, who held firm against the overwhelming force. To everyone's astonishment, Goku disappeared in a flash, reappearing at blinding speed to deliver a devastating blow. His fist connected with Gin's form, propelling the God of Destruction out of the arena as a spectacular display of power. The other Gods of Destruction watched in stunned silence, their expressions a mixture of disbelief and awe. Daishigan's smile widened slightly, a testament to Goku's exceptional prowess. Gin, now expelled from the arena, struggled to regain his composure. His fellow gods of destruction exchanged uneasy glances, acknowledging the undeniable strength that Goku had demonstrated. Daishigan surveyed the assembly of gods of destruction with a serene expression before announcing in a resonant voice, Behold, the new god killer of Universe 7, Son Goku. Goku approached Gin extending a hand to help him. You're incredibly strong, Gin. Gin, taken aback by Goku's sincerity, accepted his hand and rose his feet. <coughs> you are truly remarkable, Goku. Meanwhile, Daishikan addressed the gathering once more. Let us commemorate this occasion with a celebration. Goku's achievement is a testament to the boundless potential of mortals. As the gods of destruction nodded in acknowledgement, Goku exchanged the knot with Beerus, who grinned in response. We, standing beside Goku, observed with quiet satisfaction, knowing that his student had surpassed all expectations. The resonance of an immense, ominous energy surged from the depths of the Makai realm, catching the attention of Goku and the gatherer deities in the Celestial Palace. Sensing the magnitude and familiarity of this power, Goku's expression turned serious as he exchanged a knowing glance with Whis. <clears throat> I think that's Gohan! He must have tapped into his Akumo assets again! Hmm. <clears throat> it appears your son is facing a formidable challenge. Beerus, now intrigued by the unfolding event, spoke up. If Gohan is involved, we better keep an eye on things. Daishigan, observing the reactions of these assembled gods, maintain a composed demeanor. Goku, should we investigate this disturbance? 
Yes, let's go! Gohan might need our help. With anonymous agreement among the deities, Goku and Whis prepared to depart, leaving the Celestial Palace behind as they ventured towards the mysterious source of power emanating from the Makai Realm. As Daishikan concluded the meeting announcing Goku's new title as God Killer, Goku and Whis swiftly departed from the Celestial Palace, leaving the assembly of deities behind. With determination etched on his features, Goku followed Whis to the Planet of Destruction to assess the unfolding situation. As they traversed the cosmos, Goku's thoughts were consumed by the urge of power emanating from the Makai Realm. He couldn't shake the feeling of concern for Gohan, wondering what trials his son might be facing amid such overwhelming energy. Whis, ever composed, guided Goku through the vast expanse of space with effortless grace. We're almost there, Goku, he assured. Arriving at the Planet of Destruction, Goku and Whis surveyed the serene landscape. The planet bore the unmistakable mark of Beerus, the god of destruction, a realm where chaos and creation danced in an eternal balance. Where do you sense the disturbance? Asked Whis, his golden eye scanning the horizon. Gonga closed his eyes, attuning himself to the subtle vibrations of the universe. It's coming from the Makai realm. Let's find out what's happening. Indeed, Gohan has been tasked with investigating the Makai realm, but the recent surge of energy suggests that something unforeseen may be unfolding. I know Gohan is strong, but this kind of power, it's different. I hope he's okay. We should proceed cautiously. Whatever is transpiring in the Makai realm could pose a significant threat if it left unchecked. Gohan's abilities are remarkable, but even he must exercise caution. <clears throat> Let's head to the Makai realm then. I've got to make sure Gohan is alright. With a simple gesture, Whis opened a pathway through the space. The cosmic fabric banning to their will. Together, Goku and Whis embarked on a journey towards the realm where mysteries and dangers awaited. Their hearts set on uncovering the truth behind the unsettling energy that had drawn Goku's attention. As they hurtled through the vast expanse, Goku's thoughts raced. Gohan's straining with a Makaioshin had been intense, designed to harness and control his immense potential. But had something gone awry? Gohan pressed forward through the eerie landscape of the Makai realm, his senses attuned to the subtle shifts of energy around him. Despite the challenges and dangers that surrounded him, he remained focused on his mission to uncover the truth behind the disturbances in time and space. As he ventured deeper into the shadow terrain, Gohan's thoughts drifted back to his training with Goku, particularly the lessons on patience and strategic thinking. He had empathized the importance of discernment, especially in realms as unpredictable as this one. Suddenly, a faint glimmer caught Gohan's attention. A subtle resonance in the cosmic fabric that hinted at the presence of the sacred artifact he sought. Drawing nearer, he came upon a cavernous chamber adorned with ancient markings and flickering with otherworldly light. Just as Gohan prepared to approach, a voice echoed through the chamber, reverberating with an ominous tone. So, you've come seeking the artifact. Gohan's eyes narrowed, his stance shifting into a defensive posture. <laughs> Who's there? From the shadows emerged the figure trapped in a dark cloak, his presence shrouded in mystery. I am Zarama, guardian of the sacred artifact you seek. But acquiring it will not be so simple. I need that artifact to restore balance to the timelines. Please, I mean no harm. The artifact holds great power. Power that could be misused in the wrong hands. Are you prepared to face its trials? I'll do whatever it takes! With a solemn nod, Zarama extended his hand, revealing a radiant orb pulsating with cosmic energy, the key to restoring order across time and space. Gon's eyes widened in recognition as Mora revealed himself, the infamous Planet Eater, whose name sent shivers through the cosmos. Despite the shock, Gohan steadied himself, ready to confront this formidable foe. Mora! I should have known. What are you doing here in the Makai realm? <sighs> the eternal question of power and purpose, young Gohan. I've come seeking new realms to conquer, new energies to devour. You know, it's my geek. This artifact you seek, it's a mere trinket compared to what I desire. You won't lay a finger on that artifact. It's essential for restoring balance. And I won't let you misuse its power. 
<laughs> oh, but you misunderstand, Gohan. The artifact is of no interest to me. What I seek is your formidable energy, infused with the essence of Akumo. It's a delicacy I cannot resist. And come and face me, Moro. I won't let you harm anyone or anything! Uh, very well, Saiyan. Let's see if you can withstand the hunger of the ages! The chamber erupted in a clash of energy as Gohan and Moro charged towards each other. Their powers colliding in a dazzling display of light and shadow. In that moment, Gohan understood the gravity of the challenges ahead. A battle not just for the artifact, but for the fate of countless worlds threatened by Moro's insatiable appetite. Gohan's heart raced as Moro's dark energy swirled around him, the air heavy with impending danger. He steadied himself, realizing the gravity of the situation. Moro was no ordinary adversary, he was a force of cosmic malevolence, driven by insatiable hunger. You won't get away with this, Moro! Oh, but I will, Gohan! And you will pay for the sins of your father! Gohan's mind raced with memories of his father's battles. The struggles against foes who sought to bring harm to the universe. Moore's words stung. A reminder of the legacy he carried as Goku's son. Without hesitation, Gohan surged forward. His key flaring as he launched a barrage of punches. Moro deflected each blow effortlessly. His eyes gleaming with amusement. You're not like your father, are you? You lack the killer instinct. A pity, really. Gohan gritted his teeth, refusing to be goaded. He needed a strategy, a way to counter Moore's overwhelming power. <laughs> I'll consume your energy first, then move on to the next feast. Gohan's battle intensified. Gohan knew that victory would require more than just strength. It would demand strategy, resilience, and the unwavering will to protect what mattered most. Oh, interesting. That form. Gohan's aura surged around him, the energy of his bestial form radiant with raw power. Moro's eyes widened in surprise, recognizing the semblance of Goku's ultra instinct. You've tapped into a formidable power, Saiyan. This goes beyond the energy of ultra instinct, Moro. I won't hold back! Ah! Moro's grin faltered as he sensed the intensity of Gohan's energy. He launched a flurry of attacks, but Gohan deftly evaded each strike. His movement fluid and precise. <laughs> you think you can outmaneuver me? Gohan's response was swift and decisive. In a flash of movement, he closed the distance between them, delivering a devastating blow that sent Moro crashing into the rocky terrain. <laughs> Such power! But can you sustain it? I'll do whatever it takes to stop you, Moro. You won't threaten anyone else! As the battle intensified, Gohan pushed himself further, his key blazing with newfound strength. Moro struggled to keep up, forced onto the defensive by Gohan's relentless assault. With each strike, Gohan's resolve deepened. He couldn't afford to lose, not when the stakes were so high and the fate of the universe hung in the balance. Moro's eyes narrowed, a glimmer of uncertainty betraying his confident facade. Gohan's power wasn't like anything he had encountered before, a testament to the Saiyan's unwavering determination. The clash continued, the echo of their energy reverberating throughout the dark expanse of the Makai realm. Gohan knew that victory was within reach, he just had to seize it. To be continued! Here in the Makai realm, there are very powerful guys! You won't think I'm the same as before, Moro! You know the true power of the Saiyan Ancestor! <笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> It's astounding! This mortal really is something else. Look at that brilliant form. There can be no doubt. This is the true power, complete in all its majesty. This is Autonomous Ultra Instinct! 
how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe, hit the channel, and then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. In a momentous gathering of cosmic proportions, the gods of destruction from across the multiverse have convened in the ethereal realm to address the burgeoning topic of Goku's newfound mastery of Ultra Instinct. Amidst the celestial splendor of their divine assembly, the gods of destruction, each emanating an aura of formidable power, express a mixture of curiosity, apprehension, and a hint of trepidation as they deliberate over Goku's remarkable feat. So you all have heard of this mortal Goku, the mortal who lives in my universe, inquires the enigmatic Beerus, the god of destruction from Universe 7, his voice tinged with a mixture of intrigue and incredulity. As my pride warrior, he has achieved the mastery over the legendary Ultra Instinct. The murmurs among the gathered deities echo throughout the cosmic expanse as they exchange wary glances and contemplative nods. Goku's unprecedented attainment of Ultra Instinct, a technique that transcends the limits of mortal comprehension, has sent ripples of speculation and concern throughout the divine hierarchy. He has become a formidable force. Remarks Champa, Beerus' boisterous counterpart from Universe 6, his brother, and his expression a mixture of grudging respect and mild consternation. <laughs> we must read carefully. As the discussion unfolds, Wheat, the enigmatic angel attendant to Universe 7's God of Destruction, offers his insights, his demeanor serene yet discerning. Goku's mastery of all Ultra Instincts is a testament to his unwavering determination and boundless potential. Wee's remarks, his words carrying a weight of both admiration and caution. The gods of destruction, cognizant of the implications of Goku's newfound power, acknowledge the need for vigilance in the face of such an extraordinary development. With Goku's ascent to unprecedented levels of strength, the delicate balance of power in the cosmos hangs in a balance, and the divine pantheon braces itself for the challenges that lie ahead. As the discussions among the gods of destruction continues, Catella, the enigmatic deity presiding over Universe 4, interjects with a somber tone, his piercing gaze fixated on a holographic projection of Goku. Goku's mastery over Ultra Instinct may indeed pose a threat to the Divine Order, Catella declares, his voice resonating with a hint of concern. His potential knows no bounds, and if left unchecked, he could ascend to heights that even we, the gods of destruction, may struggle to match. The other deities nod in solemn agreement, acknowledging the gravity of Kitella's words. The prospect of Goku evolving into a force that transcends the divine hierarchy sends a ripple of a knees throughout the assembly. It is imperative that we remain vigilant, remarks Arak, the god of destruction from Universe 5. We cannot afford to underestimate the potential ramifications of Goku's newfound power. The collective sentiment among the gods of destruction is one of wary anticipation, as they grapple with the implications of Goku's inexorable ascent. In a universe teetering on the precipice of uncertainty, the specter of Goku's evolving strength looms large, casting a shadow over the celestial realm and raising profound questions about the fate of the cosmos. The challenges that beset Universe 7 are mine to confront and mine alone, Beerus asserts, his tone carrying the weight of unwavering determination. As the Guardian entrusted with the preservation of my universe, I shall not waver in my duty to maintain the cosmic balance. His proclamation resonates with an air of authority, affirming his unwavering commitment to safeguarding the stability of Universe 7. However, Beerus continues, his gaze turning towards the holographic projections of Goku. I trust that Goku will continue to hone his abilities responsibly. Should the need arise, he can count on my guidance and counsel. Declaration, Beerus reaffirms his role as both a mentor and a guardian, poised to navigate the turbulent waters of cosmic destinies alongside Goku and the other denizens of Universe 7. As the discussion draws to a close, a sense of unity pervades the Divine Assembly, underscoring their shared commitment to confronting whatever challenges lie ahead. Now allow me to offer some perspective. Weez begins, his words carrying a sense of measured wisdom. It was Goku who played a pivotal role in ensuring the survival of not only Universe 7, but also several others during the Tournament of Power. 
His actions, while unorthodox at times, ultimately proved instrumental in averting the cataclysmic erasure of countless lives. But he's the one who started the tournament! <laughs> oh, please. Zero-sama already stated that if the tournament didn't happen, the universes would be erased anyway. So in a way, Goku just saved your lives. While Goku's power may be formidable, we must also recognize the unwavering the dedication of protecting life that he has, the willing to protect all he holds dear. In its all forms, rather than viewing him as a threat, perhaps we should regard him as a valuable ally in our ongoing quest to maintain cosmic equilibrium. We seek to bridge the divide between apprehension and acceptance, fostering a newfound sense of camaraderie among the gods of destruction. As the discussion unfolds, a spirit of mutual respect takes root, laying the groundwork for future collaboration and understanding among the Divine Pantheon. Beerus, the god of destruction known for his capricious nature, chuckles softly as he leans forward, addressing his fellow deities with an air of amusement. <laughs> well, if some of you truly believe that Goku poses a threat, perhaps it is time to put those theories to the test. After all, what better way to assess his capabilities than in a friendly sparring match? <laughs> the suggestion hangs in the air, eliciting a mixture of intrigue and skepticism. From the other gods of destruction, of course. Some nod in agreement, intrigued by the prospect of witnessing Goku's power firsthand, while others remain cautious, wary of the potential implications. Think of it as a way to gauge his strength, and understand his true potential. Besides, it's a little friendly competition, and never hurt anyone, right? As murmurs of assent ripple through the assembly, Beerus rises from his seat with a playful grin, his eyes alight with anticipation. In his characteristic fashion, the God of Destruction appears eager to embrace the challenge head-on, confident in his ability to navigate the complexities of divine politics with a touch of levity. And so, amidst the celestial backdrop of the gods' gathering, the stage is set for a monumental clash of titans, as Goku finds himself unwittingly thrust into the spotlight once more, poised to confront the very deities who govern the fabric of existence itself. Kitella, usually placid demeanor, shifts abruptly as a fiery indignation consumes him. His voice reverberates through the divine chamber with an intensity that commands attention. Enough with these frivolous games! Kitella roars, his eyes ablaze with fury. If Goku is truly as formidable as you claim, then I will not stand idly by while the fate of all universes hangs in a balance. The God of Destruction of Universe 4 rises from his seat, his imposing figure casting a long shadow across the room. Although he's a little bit small, with a decisive gesture, he declares his intent to confront Son Goku head on his resolve unyielding in a face of uncertainty. I will challenge Son Goku myself! And if he dares to oppose me, he will learn the true meaning of destruction. <laughs> the air crackles with tension as Kitala's proclamation reverberates throughout the Divine Assembly, signaling a dramatic escalation in the cosmic states. With a stage set for an epic showdown between gods and mortals, the fate of the multiverse hangs in a balance as the brewing conflict between Kitala and Son Goku threatens to ignite into a cataclysmic clash of unimaginable proportions. Whis, ever the serene and composed attendant, responded to Kitala's fiery challenge with a calm demeanor, his smile unwavering even in the face of escalating intention. Very well. Let us settle this dispute in a manner befitting of your station. With a flick of his staff, Whis conjures a magnificent arena of battle, a shimmery coliseum suspended amidst the ethereal expense of space. The arena radiates with an otherworldly glow, its contours etched with intricate patterns that seem to dance with the shifting hues of the cosmos. I have created a suitable arena for your confrontation. Now, let us summon Son Goku <laughs> and witness the outcome of this clash of titans. <laughs> With graceful motion, Whis extends his hand, channeling his divine energy to send a telepathic summons to Goku. 
calling upon the Saiyan warrior to join them in the celestial arena. As the invitation echoes across the vast reaches of the universe, the stage is set for an epic showdown between Katella, the god of destruction of Universe 4, and Son Goku, the indomitable Saiyan champion of Universe 7. As the anticipation builds in the shimmery arena, Whis's mind drifts momentarily into reflection, recalling the myriad battles that Goku has faced throughout his story journey. A serene expression, Whis reminisces about the countless trials and tribulations that Goku had overcome. From its humble beginnings as a young Saiyan on Earth, to his ascension to become one of the mightiest warriors in the cosmos. Images of epic clashes flash through Whis's mind like fleeting memories. Each battle a testament to Goku's unwavering determination and boundless potential. He recalls Goku's legendary battles against foes both fearsome and formidable, from the monstrous power of Frieza to the relentless onslaught of Cell, and a cataclysm clash with Majin Buu that tested the very limits of his strength. Weezer's thoughts then turn to more recent encounters, such as the all-inspiring showdown against the enigmatic Beerus, the savage Broly, and the sinister Goku Black. As Weez reminisces, he marvels at Goku's remarkable growth as a warrior, his unwielding spirit shining brightly amidst the trials and tribulations of his tumultuous journey. Each battle has shaped Goku into a formidable fighter he is today and Whis can't help but feel a sense of pride in the Saiyan's remarkable achievements. With a subtle smile, Whis returns his focus to the present moment, his mind clear and focused, as he awaits the imminent clash between Goku and Katella, knowing that whatever the outcome, it will be a spectacle to behold. As Goku stands in the arena created by Whis, he finds himself immersed in deep thoughts, questioning his own place in a vast universe. With a serene gaze, Goku reflects on the many battles he has fought and the challenges he has faced throughout his journey. He remembers moments of triumph and defeat, the friends he has gained and the adversaries he has overcome. Yet, even amidst its achievements, a sense of relentlessness grips him. Where am I really? Who am I in this vast cosmos? Goku wonders to himself as he gazes up at the starry sky above. He ponders the nature of existence the limits of his own power, and the pursuit of his journey as a warrior. As his reflections lead through the maze of thoughts, Goku strives to find answers to his deepest questions. He knows that the path to fully understanding may be long and arduous, but his determination to seek the truth remains unshakable. With a determined sigh, Goku focuses on his next challenge, ready to face whatever adversity fate may bring. Because in the end, Goku knows that his journey is far from over, and each battle is an opportunity to grow stronger and discover more about himself in the universe that surrounds him. As Katella, the god of destruction from Universe 4, advances menacingly towards Goku, the Saiyan warrior finds himself puzzled by the sudden turn of events. Confusion flickers in Goku's eyes as he watches Katella approach with a determined stride. Hey, what's going on? Goku's mind racing to comprehend the situation unfolding before him. With a furrowed brow, Goku instinctively assumes a defense stance, ready to confront whatever challenges lie ahead. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, a flicker of excitement ignites within him. As a seasoned fighter, Goku thrives on the thrill of battle, and facing off against the God of Destruction promises to be an exhilarating test of his skills. Despite Katella's aggressive demeanor, Goku braces himself for the impending clash. His senses heighten and his muscles taut with anticipation. Though he may not fully understand the reasons behind Katella's sudden aggression, Goku's prepared to meet the challenge head on and defend himself with all the strength and determination he possesses. Beerus, observing the unfolding confrontation between Goku and Katella, steps forward with an air of authority. Goku! He calls out his voice commanding attention amidst the tension-filled atmosphere. Focus on the battle at hand! The fate of our universe hangs in a balance! Uh, what do you mean, Lord Beerus? Uh. He inquires, momentarily setting aside his confusion about the situation. There are matters beyond our comprehension that require solution. Your victory in this battle could sway the course of events that will shape the future of all universes. Win! Goku! Understanding dawns on Goku as he absorbs Beerus' words. 
With a renewed sense of purpose, he squares his shoulders and fixes his gaze on Kitella, channeling his energy into readiness for the impending clash. As Kitella readies himself for the confrontation, Goku's resolve strengthens. With each passing moment, the weight of responsibility settles on his shoulders. He knows that emerging victorious against Catella is not only a personal challenge, but also a crucial step towards securing the future of the multiverse. With a determined nod to Beerus, Goku silently reaffirms his commitment to the battle ahead. The fate of countless lives hangs in a balance, and he will fight with all his might to ensure that the right path is forced. As the tension in the arena reaches its peak, Goku's aura flares to light crackling with energy as he undergoes a transformation. His hair takes on a vibrant blue hue, and his eyes gleam with determination as he ascends to the Super Saiyan Blue form. Goku addresses Catella, his voice steady and resolute. I hope you're ready, Lord Catella. I'm not holding back this time. Let's settle this with everything we've got. Catella, taken aback by Goku's transformation, readies himself for the battle ahead. The arena hums with anticipation as the two warriors face off their energy pulsating in the air around them. Goku's transformation into Super Saiyan Blue marks a pivotal moment in the confrontation, signaling his unwavering determination to face Kitella head on. With the fate of the universe is hanging in the balance, Goku's resolve to fight with all his strength has never been stronger. The stage is set for an epic clash between mortal and deity, with the outcome poised to shape the destiny of all existence. As Kitella's rage surges, the very fabric of the arena begins to tremble under the weight of his fury. The ground quakes, sending shockwaves rippling through the air as he channels his godly power. The other gods of destruction watch in awe as Kitala's energy radiates outward, causing the very foundations of the arena to quake. Even Beerus, known for his stoic demeanor, narrows his eyes in acknowledgement of Kitala's formidable strength. Goku. Undeterred by the overwhelming display of power, stands firm, his resolve unshaken. With a steely gaze, he meets Catella's enraged glare head-on, prepared to face whatever challenges lie ahead. The tension in the arena is palpable as Goku and Catella stand on the brink of battle, their powers clashing in a showdown of epic proportions. As Goku's Super Saiyan Blue fists collide with Catella's godly might, the arena is engulfed in a cacophony of thunderous impacts. Each blow sends shockwaves rippling through the ground, causing fissures to form beneath their feet. The clash of titans create a dazzling display of energy, illuminating the arena with vibrant hues of blue and purple. Spectators from across the universes watch the in awe as Goku and Katella engage in a fierce battle, their powers colliding in a symphony of destruction. The force of their punches creates shockwaves that reverberate throughout the arena, shaking the very foundations of the stage. As Goku and Kitella trade blows with unparalleled ferocity, the intensity of their battle threatens to tear the fabric of reality itself. With every strike, the arena quakes under the sheer force of their power, leaving onlookers breathless with anticipation. The clash between Goku's Super Saiyan Blue and Kitala's godly might rages on, each combatant pushing themselves to the limit in pursuit of victory. As the epic clash between Goku and Kitala unfolds before their eyes, Beerus observes with a sense of pride and anticipation. He reflects on the remarkable journey Goku has undertaken since his first encounter. Beerus recalls the fateful encounter when Goku dared to challenge him as a Super Saiyan God marking the beginning of their tumultuous relationship. Since then, Goku has continuously pushed the boundaries of his power, unlocking new transformations and techniques that have astonished even the gods. From mastering the Super Saiyan Blue form to harnessing the incredible power of Ultra Instinct, Goku has demonstrated an unparalleled drive for self-improvement. Beerus acknowledges Goku's unwavering determination and relentless pursuit of strength, recognizing him as a formidable warrior worthy of respect. As the battle rages on, Beerus watches closely, eager to witness the full extent of Goku's evolution. He knows that regardless of the outcome, Goku's journey is far from over, and the potential for even greater heights of power lies within him. As Goku charges forward, determined to overcome Kitala's overwhelming power, the Universe Force God of Destruction unleashes an unprecedented surge of energy. 
with a confident smirk, Katana asserts his dominance, taunting Goku that he will never be able to reach his level of power. Despite Katana's boastful claims, Goku remains undeterred, drawing upon his resolve and inner strength. As the two engage in a fierce exchange of blows, Goku's determination shines through, fueling his determination to push beyond his limits. Beerus watches intently, sensing the intensity of the battle unfolding before him. He knows that Goku's tenacity and indomitable spirit have carried him through countless challenges in the past, and this encounter will be no exception. As Goku and Katana continue their clash, the outcome hangs in a balance with both warriors pushing themselves to the brink of pursuit of victory. The arena trembles with the force of their conflict, setting the stage for an epic showdown between two titans of power. Just as Katala seemed to have the upper hand, Goku's eyes suddenly close, and a surge of energy envelops him. They know what's about to happen. The atmosphere crackles with anticipation as Goku taps into the depths of his power, unleashing the formidable might of Ultra Instinct. With newfound speed and precision, Goku maneuvers effortlessly through Katella's attacks, dodging each blow with graceful finesse. The arena quakes with each movement, showcasing the sheer magnitude of Goku's power as he enters a state beyond the comprehension of mere mortals. Katella's confidence wavers as he struggles to keep up with Goku's newfound mastery of Ultra Instinct. Despite his best efforts, the Universe Force God of Destruction finds himself outmatched by Goku's unparalleled speed and reflexes. As Goku's aura intensifies, a sense of awe washes over the spectator. As Goku's aura intensifies, a sense of awe washes over the spectators, including Beerus and Whis, who watches in stunned silence as the spectacle unfolding before them. It becomes clear that Goku has stepped into a realm of power that transcends mortal limitation. With each strike, Goku inches closer to victory, his determination unyielding as he pushes himself beyond his limits. The battle reaches its climax as Goku delivers a devastating blow, sending Katella reeling across the arena. As the dust settles, Goku stands there, victorious. His mastery over Ultra Instinct solidifying his status as one of the greatest warriors in the universe. The other gods of destruction look in awe, realizing that Goku's power knows no bounds, and the fate of the universes may rest in his hands. In an inexplicable sequence of events, Goku launches a flurry of rapid punches at Katella, the god of destruction of Universe 4. Each strike lands with incredible precision and force, sending shockwaves reverberating throughout the arena. Katella, caught off guard by Goku's sudden onslaught, attempts to retaliate but finds himself overwhelmed by the Saiyan's relentless assault. Despite his best efforts to defend, Katella struggles to keep up with Goku's outmatched speed and ferocity. The spectators watch in awe as Goku's fists blur with unprecedented speed, creating a whirlwind of energy that engulfs the battle. Katella's defenses begin to falter under the relentless barrage of punches, but it becomes evident that Goku has stepped into a level of power beyond comprehension. With each strike, Goku's determination intensifies, fueled by his unwavering resolve to protect his universe and emerge victorious. The arena trembles with the sheer force of their clash, as Goku pushes himself to the limit in pursuit of victory. As the dust, as the dust settles, Katella staggers backward. Visibly shaken by the ferocity of Goku's assault. Despite his best efforts to regain his composure, the God of Destruction of Universe 4 realizes that he has met his match in Goku, whose power transcends even the gods themselves. With a final, decisive blow, Goku sends Katella crashing to the ground. Defeated, but not destroyed. The spectators erupt to enter cheers as Goku stands victorious, his victory solidifying his status as one of the greatest warriors in the multiverse. With Katala reeling from Goku's relentless assault, the Saiyan warrior channels an immense surge of energy, his aura pulsating with unprecedented power. In a dazzling display of strength, Goku raises his hand to the sky, gathering energy from the surrounding cosmos. 
A brilliant glow envelops Goku as he focuses his energy into a colossal Kamehameha wave. Its sheer magnitude dwarfing the arena. The spectators watch in awe as Goku unleashes the devastating attack. The sheer force of blast, of that blast, threatening to tear the very fabric of reality. Katella caught off guard by the sudden escalation of power and attempts to muster a defense, but it's too late. The gargantua Kamehameha wave clashes into him with unstoppable force, engulfing him in a blinding explosion of energy. As the smoke clears, Katella's silhouette is barely visible amidst the devastation. The arena falls silent, the air heavy with anticipation as the spectators wait for the outcome of Goku's devastating attack. Moments later, Katella emerges from the smoke, battered and bruised but still standing. Though visibly weakened, the god of destruction of Universe 4 refuses to concede a feat. His resolve unbroken despite the overwhelming power of Goku's attack. Goku, his energy spent from the colossal effort, stands poised and ready for the next phase of the battle. With Katala still standing in defiance, the outcome of this epic clash hangs in a balance, leaving the fate of the multiverse uncertain. Katala, the once confident god of Universe 4, lies defeated on the ground. His energy depleted and his spirit broken. It is fallen. Whis, the angel of Universe 7, looks on with a smirk of satisfaction, his eyes sparkling with amusement. With a chuckle, Whis addresses the remaining gods of destruction gathered in the arena, his voice tinged with playful mockery. Oh, it seems that Goku has once again proven himself to be a force to be reckoned with. <laughs> he remarks, his tone laced with amusement. Turning his gaze to the defeated Katella, Whis continues. Any god of destruction who dares to challenge Goku must be prepared to face him in battle. It appears that Katella has learned his lesson the hard way. The other gods of destruction murmur among themselves, exchanging uneased glances as they contemplate the implications of Goku's overwhelming power. It's clear that the Saiyan warrior has earned a newfound respect from the divine beings gathered in the arena. As Goku stands victorious amidst the wreckage of the battlefield, as Goku stands victorious amidst the wreckage of the battlefield, a sense of awe and admiration washes over the spectators. With Katala's defeat, the stage is set for a new era of cosmic battles, where Goku's unparalleled strength looms large over the fate of the multiverse. Scaring Goasu. Goasu says, Romushisa, you came here and noticed Son Goku's powers. Romushi says, Let's. Oh, if it's not Son Goku here, I've been waiting for you this long. I knew the first universe you would want to come is Universe 10. It looks like Beerus wasn't able to eliminate him. Because of you, almost all universes were destroyed, Son Goku. Your naivety of believing that you can play with Zeno-sama whenever you want causes great catastrophes to be created. My universe never had very powerful warriors, that's true. In this way, a tournament of strength, a tournament of power, as it was in the tournament of power, it was obvious that it would be suicide for everyone. This is unforgivable. I want to settle my score with you ever since that Son Goku. Goasu just stares. At that moment, in a great speed, Goku hits a punch in the face of the God of Destruction of Universe 10. Make him fly kilometers away. At that moment, Goku says, You talk too much. Get out of my face. Scared, Goasu says, What? With just one hit? Goasu was scared by what he saw and what he said in his thoughts. This is completely impossible. I learned that in the Tournament of Power, Son Goku showed unimaginable powers and managed to defeat several warriors. But... He also awakened skills that even the God of Destruction have a lot of difficulty to perform as the Ultra Instinct itself. This is even more powerful. How could a mortal reach this level? <laughs> Zamasu was envious of Son Goku's powers. It seems that he knew that Son Goku's body could reach unimaginable powers. 
But I remember that Mr. Goku's personality was totally different from what he is today. He was calmer, much calmer. Not that now he doesn't be pure in your heart, but your senses of justice seems to be speaking much louder. What do you really aim for, Sir Goku? Goku, with a serious look, starts this keep. Come on! I know I haven't defeated you yet. Romushi rises with his purple color key and starts to rumble every Kaioshin planet in Universe 10. Romushi says, oh, Son Goku! <laughs> Indeed, that power is incredible. So the rumors were true. You managed to master the Ultra Instinct. Know that there are few gods of destruction who are able to master this skill. But that doesn't matter. I will solve it with you based on brute force. Ah! Universe 10's god of destruction begins to increase his powers in an exponentially greater way. Goku watches and speaks. As expected, he actually manages to get stronger. I will not remain like this. Ah! The two begin to clash their fists. Goku throws several punches at Romushi, who receives the punches from the Saiyan of Universe 7. But even receiving the blows, he continues to stand. Romushi says, Come on, Goku! Show me what you're really capable of! Is that all you can do? Ah! Romushi, upon receiving Son Goku's blows, begins to increase his Akayashin strength even more and in the blink of an eye lands a big punch on Goku's belly. Goku feels the punch of the God of Destruction. He screams. What power was that? Damn it. It was an even greater potency than Mr. Beerus. <laughs> Ramushi says. Give up, son Goku. You have no chance of winning. Goas watches and says. It seems that Romoshi's son is using his Akai fists. This skill is very powerful. And any moment he can defeat Son Goku like that. Long ago, it was said that Romoshi's son's Akai fist was capable of defeating any god of destruction. Now I can see that this is really true. It seems that his plans will not come to Frunun with Goku. At that moment, Goku stands with his head down in front of the God of Destruction from Universe 10. Goku starts to laugh. <laughs> I already understand your fighting style. <laughs> you can't concentrate all the Hakai energy and activate the Hakai transformation. So your body can only concentrate the energy in one punch. <laughs> no matter how strong that punch is, if you miss, you're vulnerable until you recover. Ramoshi looks scared and says, What? Impossible! How did you find that out? Goku activates Ultra Instinct. Ramoshi screams and speaks. Don't play me, son Goku! Goku with the mastery of Ultra Instinct begins to dodge all of Romoshi's attacks with great ease. Goku begins to reflect how he behaves. I've already managed to analyze how he behaves. He moves with quick attacks. But when he creates his Akai energy, his speed is reduced to land the punch. Since he can't fully activate Akai form, I'll have to do it all or nothing attack. Since he can't fully activate Hakai form, I'll have to do an all or nothing attack. Hmm. Hey, God of Destruction of Universe 10, get ready! This will be my final attack! Ah! Superior! Dragon! Fist! Romushi watches and speaks. <laughs> Want to decide this in one attack? Come on then! A guy fast! Universe 7. Vegeta was talking to Whis. Perhaps the biggest difference between me and Kakarot has always been in techniques. When Kakarot fought with me, in some moments I had more strength than him. He is a martial artist. And as it. I had extremely powerful techniques. 
When he activated the Kaioken, he managed to raise his power to an entirely higher level. It was something incredible. His power surpassed mine exponentially. Even though Majin Buu was much more powerful than us, at the moment we were supposed to destroy him, Kakarot managed to use the technique mastered by Lord Kaio who passed it on to him. Kakarot used the Spirit Bomb. After the defeat of the demon Majin Buu, we still had another extremely powerful enemy. A demon that did not think, and only caused destruction everywhere he went. Weez watches and says, Ho 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 ho! Don't tell me that after you defeated the Majin Buu, you faced an even incredible more powerful enemy, Mr. Vegeta. Vegeta says, Hyundagon. The demon who could only be stopped by the touch of Tapion's harmonica. An ancient warrior who gave the Z sword to my son Trunks. After that happened, things were complicated. None of the warriors of the planet Earth were able to defeat him. Not even Gohan, who was considered the strongest warrior who had released the mystical powers. And not managed to raise his power to the maximum. At that moment, the only one who was still standing was Kakarot. After Kakarot has no more resources to fight, and at that moment it is totally unfeasible to carry out a spirit bomb, Kakarot used an extremely different technique. The Dragon Fist. This attack completely obliterated the dragon. Whis is impressed. Vegeta concludes. At that time, Kakarot only possessed Super Saiyan 3. I wonder what this technique would be like with Kakarot's current powers. Back to Universe 10. At that moment, the two fists clash between Goku and the God of Destruction of Universe 10. At that moment, Romoshi says, It's impossible for you to beat me, Son Goku! Goku remains serious. Goasu doesn't believe what he sees. In a blink of an eye, a silver dragon begins to appear over Goku's body, and the dragon begins to swallow the God of Destruction of Universe 10. Romoshi says, What? Impossible! Arr, you miserable son Goku! The dragon-shaped fist pierces the God of Destruction of Universe 10, causing his body to explode. Goku in his Ultra Instinct stage says, <sighs> You fought well. Too bad I was your opponent. Now, I will recover my energies and attack the next Hokaioshin. You will know really who I am. I am Son Goku from Universe 7. Battle between Goku from Universe 7 and Ramoshi from Universe 10. The winner is Son Goku. At that moment, all the gods of destruction noticed Romoshi's absence. All the gods of destruction noted the absence of the god of destruction from Universe 10. Goku was very tired. Goku leaned against the rock in Universe 10 and began to reflect. It seems that for this you did not expect it. It's not gods of destructions. The day that a mortal would challenge you to an endless fight. I was <clears throat> never afraid of you. I will never accept that any of you think you can do whatever you want. At that moment, a female voice appears and says, What's going on here? Uh, I can't believe what you did to Mr. Romoshi. No, no, no. Mr. Romoshi did such nice little dances. Now who's gonna dance with me? Wait, I know you. You are that guy who almost won the Tournament of Power fighting Jiren. Why did you do that? At that moment, Goku looks and sees Kuzu, the angel of Universe 10. Goku says, Wait, you are... Goku comes face to face with Kuzu, the angel of Universe 10. Kuzu says, I do remember you. You're Son Goku, the mortal who impressed all the gods of destruction, aren't you? I'm very sad with you. You erased the existence of Mr. Romoshi. He danced with me and brought a lot of calm to this universe. Goku begins to reflect. Even though she's an angel, she has a totally different mindset than the other angels. A greater than normal purity in her heart. Maybe she doesn't even know exactly what the Gods of Destruction ended up doing. Maybe really she just wants someone to dance with. Just like Chen Chan wants someone to play with. Huh. At that moment, Goku says, Your God of Destruction did very bad things and even attacked innocent gods. 
This is something very serious. Due to the order of all the gods of destruction, I was locked in a time chamber so that I would be judged for crimes that I did not commit. Yet above, several gods of destruction agreed to attack my loved ones if I refused to be trapped in a time chamber. Kuzu looks amazed and says, What? Did Mr. Romoshi have the nerve to do that to anyone? <sighs> Hey, Mr. Goku, you don't seem like a bad guy. Do you want to dance with me? Goku looks and speaks. Huh? She didn't even care about everything I just said. She just wants someone to dance with. Goku says, uh, My body is all broken, you see. Kuzu looks smiley and speaks. Ah, that's not a problem at all. At that moment, Kuzu uses her angelic energy and completely heals Goku's body. Goku has all his powers recovered. Goku says, Huh? What was that? <laughs> but she doesn't care anyone that her universe's god of destruction has been eradicated. Does she just want to dance? Goku says, Well, uh, I don't have much time for that, you know? <laughs> time passes and Goku dances alongside Kuzu. After Goku got tired of dancing, Kuzu says, Mr. Goku, that was so really cool. You need to come back to this universe more often so we can dance more. Goku says, uh, <laughs> leave it to me, Kuzu-san. Kuzu concludes, about your quarrel with the gods. Think about it. Not all the gods of destruction want to end it all. Some really just want to bring balance. Maybe something bigger is getting involved in all of this. Goku with a serious look tries to understand. Something bigger? Is there anything that goes beyond the gods of destruction? At that moment, Kuzu starts to smile and says, <laughs> But of course, this will be something you yourself will have to understand, Son Goku. Goku understands the words of the Universe 10 Zenjo and says goodbye to Kuzu. Goku goes directly to Universe 11. Upon arriving in the Universe, Goku reflects. This is the same universe as Jiren. Thanks to Jiren, I was able to release my real powers. Having received the spirit bomb back, I managed to master the power of Ultra Instinct. Even at that time, no matter how great Jiren's powers were, he could not defeat me. Even showing his ideals in all his fury, the technique that even the gods of destruction find it difficult to utilize, made me have the greatest advantage in battle. But that fight made me realize that I need to have total control over the Ultra Instinct. Otherwise, it could lead to a major catastrophe over my body. The moment I was close to defeating Jiren, my body suffered an ultra instant collapse. And this caused me to receive all the pain in my body at once. If it weren't for number 17 and Frieza, our universe would have been erased. At that moment, a female voice appears. <laughs> it seems like you are reflecting a lot. <laughs> At that moment, Margarita, the angel of Universe 11, appears in front of Goku. Scared, Goku says, <laughs> What? <laughs> Why did she appear here? I couldn't even notice her key. That look. What's going on? I hid my key. Theoretically, it wasn't for anyone to notice my presence here. But wait, I'm talking to an angel. <laughs> the level of all angels is similar to Mr. Whis. What am I talking about? Okay, what does she want? Margarita says, no, no, don't scare me like that. <laughs> don't give me that look. I just scrutinize as a precaution all the unknown interests in different universes. You know, angel stuff. Something that fascinates me is to see that a mortal can use the teleportation technique to wander over the universes. <laughs> Goku starts to think. She's gotta be kidding me. It seems like somehow she knew I was coming here. But I have nothing against angels. And we'll speak the truth. Depending on your answer. I will have to fight. Goku says, Margarita-san, right? We are living in the age of gods against mortals. Days ago, I was cornered by Beerus, the god of destruction of Universe 7, and he made me in prison in the time chamber, threatening to attack all my family and loved ones. I later learned that Beerus did this with a plan by all the gods of destruction who saw me as a celestial threat. The problem is, I didn't do anything. I was tired without committing any crime. I was trapped. We mortals are made as pawns by the gods, and the moment they want, they eradicate planets like they were dust. I will not allow this to anyone. Not anymore. I will show my real power. And I, Son Goku, will put an end to all of this. I need to find your god of destruction. I'll settle accounts with that one. Margarita observes and speaks. <laughs> You must be, you must be going crazy, right? <laughs> you want to end the God of Destruction one by one? <laughs> That's just mad.
madness. Even if you manage to do it, what are you going to do next? Will it attack the angels or even Zenosama? There's no return path, Son Goku. <laughs> <sighs> Goku begins to reflect and speaks. <sighs> what she's saying makes sense, but what should I do? It's so confusing to me. Goku begins to have a different thoughts due to Margarita's words. It seems that the angel from Universe 11 knew how to manipulate words and enter the mind of the Saiyan from Universe 7. Goku begins to have multiple memories of all his battles. He remembers being trapped in a time chamber and sees the image of his entire family being destroyed next to the Earth. Goku regains consciousness and says, It won't work on me! You're trying to manipulate me! Margarita starts to laugh. <laughs> you managed to resist my wordplay! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Son Goku. You want to find the God of Destruction, don't you? Come this way. Goku seriously follows Margarita. Goku stumbles upon a giant castle on the planet of destruction. Goku gets scared and says, What is that? Margarita responds, This is Belmont's castle of destruction. He's right at the top. Good luck, Mr. Goku. Goku watches and speaks. <sighs> <laughs> this universe is more complicated than I thought. Universe 11. When Goku heard all the words of the angel Margarita, he started to reflect. But at the same time, he managed to come to the conclusion that Margarita was only thinking about manipulating him. At that moment, Goku on the planet of destruction of Universe 11 is faced with a gigantic castle unlike all other universes in which Goku only found the God of Destruction and challenged him. As he was faced with a totally different scenario, he discovered that Belmont, the God of Destruction, in fact, who had a resemblance of a clown, was actually the Joker of all universes. This Joker who loved to make charades and unravel mysteries before his opponents find out. Goku came across the Joker's castle. What will Goku do in the midst of all this? At that moment, Goku speaks to Margarita. What are you planning? You want me to enter this castle without me knowing what awaits for me? You've always been a very cunning angel and totally different from the others. Kuza-san and Vados have a completely different temperament from you. No matter what the situation is, you always laugh. I will never trust you with anything. Goku begins to reflect. This angel is very connected to the God of Destruction of this universe. If you think about it, maybe she can have a much stronger connection with Belmont. Unlike Mr. Whis and the other angels, she seems to care a lot about him. That'll be a problem if she decides to interfere in a fight between me and him. Damn it. I need to think about what to do. At that moment, Margarita looks on and says, <laughs> Don't worry. If you want, I can accompany you and guide you until you reach our dear Belmont. Of course, you will have some challenges to prove that you are worthy of fighting the god of destruction of my universe. Goku, with a serious look, says, I've already fought against very powerful beings. I've already fought against beings that caused several catastrophes. And now I've just defeated the god of destruction of Universe 9. How dare you say that? Or do you question? then I would be worthy to fight anyone. At that moment, Margarita says, <laughs> But it doesn't mean anything! You defeated a god of destruction, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't mean that you can't defeat another. It doesn't mean that the god of destruction you defeated was the strongest or that all the gods of destruction have similar strength. <laughs> have you ever realized or thought at least a Few moments that a mortal, just as he is powerful, does not mean that all mortals have his power level, or even his own race of Saiyans. Your entire race was wiped out by Frieza, but you were able to defeat Frieza himself. So, do not confuse yourself right here. <laughs> you defeating a god of destruction doesn't mean anything. Goku starts to get serious and starts to reflect. Is there such a difference in powers between them? Mr. Beerus couldn't understand if he really used all his strength, but I managed to stab him. But still, he is still alive and he said he will come back. I need to think of something. It looks like I have no choice here. I'll have to enter this castle and find this God of Destruction. At that moment, Goku enters the castle of the God of Destruction of Universe 11. Goku says, This place is strange. When Goku arrives at Belmont's castle and enters through the initial door, he is faced with a room full of cards and jokers. Several women were there. 
The women said, Look at that, a handsome man. <laughs> Does he have time to dance with us? Goku tries to understand what was happening, what he was seeing. At that time, what seemed to be a very peaceful sight, Goku says, I need to find the god of destruction of this universe. The women says, <laughs> Come on, don't waste your time. Come with us and dance with the flow. You're very handsome. I think you will love to be our slave. Stay here with us. Don't mind any god of destruction. Goku seriously responds. I don't have time for games. Let's go. Tell me where the god of destruction is. <clears throat> At that moment, the women observed and make a complete attack face to face and start screaming. We already said that it's for you to dance with us. We already told you that you're here to stay. In this palace, there are several floors and Belmont is at the top. We are the guardians here. The wrath of the god of destruction. You will obey us or be eliminated now, you insolent mortal. Goku watches and says, <laughs> Is that all? You mean things wouldn't be as easy as I imagine. That's okay. <laughs> I trained for this. At that moment, Belmont's wrath all goes to attack Goku. Goku dodges with great ease and says, I have no intention of hurting you, but if you carry on, I won't be left with a choice. The first wrath starts looking at Goku and starts laughing. <laughs> Are you having pity on us? This seems like a joke. We who should talk about what we will or will not do with you. We are the greater numerical advantage and in terms of power as well. At that moment, Goku teleports at great speed and launches a great Kamehameha on each wrath. All wraths are eradicated and Goku says, huh. Numerical advantage? As if I cared about that. In a tournament of power, I was the target of several extremely powerful warriors. Fighting with you doesn't make any difference. But things here are happening in a strange way. This castle... It's quite confusing. I said I wouldn't do anything to you, but since you couldn't calm down, that's the end for you. Goku begins to reflect and sees that things weren't happening the way he thought. Goku says, Damn it! This all seems to be very strange. Ever since I fought Romoshi in Universe 9, Universe 9 seems like it had an entirely different way of defending itself. It seems they didn't even care or have a defense strategy. Just Gowasu was making his tea and letting things flow normally. Right after Romoshi appeared and he came directly to attack me. His powers were high, but still not enough to defeat me. However, here, in Universe 11, it's totally different. As well as insisting on extremely powerful warriors. Even so, the God of Destruction is very cunning. To get to him, it is necessary to face several battles. So does that mean that was just the first hurdle? What's still waiting for me in here? I won't let you beat me. You will really know who Son Goku is. Goku walks towards the next door. At that moment, a voice comes up and says, Where do you think you're going, Son Goku? We said you'll stay here and dance with us. At that moment, Goku gets scared and says, What? You... you revived? <laughs> uh, I thought this wasn't going to be easy. Goku activates his Super Saiyan transformation and prepares for the second round of the fight. Universe 11, Palace of Belmont, the God of Destruction. The center, the middle part, the nucleus. Belmont is sitting with his handmaidens and begins to speak. Hmm, looks like we have a visitor here. Does that mean that Son Goku decided to have an audacity to challenge the gods themselves? I feel that Romoshi's energy in Universe 10 has been completely eradicated. <laughs> Romoshi... That idiot from Universe 10 ended up being eliminated entirely by a mortal! If the gods of destruction falter, they can be eradicated one by one. But then again... Who 
knew there would be a motto as powerful as Jiren? My bet to win the Tournament of Power was Jiren! The motto who kept getting stronger and fighting for justice! But by the way, Goku managed to surpass his powers in the blink of an eye! Surpassing his limit! Less than 40 minutes! When the Tournament of Power started, he really wasn't most powerful. But then he managed to get stronger and stronger and raised his powers to extremely extraordinary levels. I couldn't understand what was happening. It seems that Jiren had lost the will to fight the moment he activated Ultra Instinct. Jiren couldn't do anything else through the fight. Goku with the Ultra Instinct, and with great ease, managed to defeat Jiren and eliminate him. But then he received the punishment of the gods. This punishment was enough to make his body that couldn't take it anymore lose all its energy. It was as if the gods were punishing him for using all that power. But soon after, things started to get a little bit more complex. Everything started to change. It was as if the energy there had become much more intense. And it looked like a lot will end up changing. You've grown a bit. I have to admit, as time went by, you never gave up on getting stronger. Something that many gods of destruction held back, believing that no one else could surpass them. Now here you are, Son Goku, wanting to challenge me and believing that you have the potential to defeat me. <laughs> This sometimes sounds funny, <laughs> but I won't let you do anything you're craving. It was a long time without fighting. Now get ready in case you make it this far. You will experience the true wrath and true power of Belmont, the god of destruction of Universe 11! <laughs> Goku was once again faced with Belmont's wrath. Three female warriors who were extremely powerful, but apparently easily defeated by Goku. When Goku was going to the next floor of the Palace of the God of Destruction, the Saiyan hears a female voice saying, Where do you think you're going, Mr. Goku? Do you believe that with that alone you were able to defeat me? Goku is startled by what he sees. The three refs come together and become just one warrior. At that moment, the Supreme Wrath says, I am Zamir, Belmont's ultimate wrath. You have shown yourself to be very strong. Didn't you want to dance with my mates? Then you will have to understand what will happen right now. It seems that Belmont is giving me a full plate for me to finish you off. Know that here within this universe, there are several races. And there are several servants of the gods of destruction. We will always try to reach the top so that one day we can be treated like them. <sighs> Goku starts watching and says, Who is she talking about? At that moment, the Supreme Wrath responds, Margarita, of course! She was treated, always treated very well by everyone! Margarita was treated well by Belmont since she was a little girl! The two always got along so well as children, and then when they got older, Belmont became the god of destruction and Margarita became the angel who accompanied him. But the truth is, I am the supreme wrath that should accompany Lord Belmont. I was always by your side, protecting you, you... You... Bastard! <laughs> Doing everything, but he never noticed me because I was... Weak! But now... I have the necessary power that will be able to make him notice me. Can you see that? Can you? Goku starts watching and says, uh, Looks like the God of Destruction and the Angel have brainwashed you. You're kind of crazy. If you're here protecting him with your life, do you think he would ever be grateful to do anything for you? That's where you're wrong. You do not know anything. Now get out of my way and let me pass. I'm sure you can be freed and do what you want. At that moment, Zamir, the Supreme Wrath, begins to laugh at Goku and speaks. Do what I want? <laughs> Are you insane? I'm already doing everything I want. <laughs> I just want to finish you off, Son Goku, and show Belmont son that I'm worthy of everything. So now, take my power. Wrath charges straight at Goku, trying to attack with a flurry of punches. Goku activates his Ultra Instinct. 
Goku launches several attacks at Wrath, but it starts to dodge. Goku walks quickly and begins to observe that no matter what attack he launches, the Wrath always regenerates her body and says, You will never defeat me! You can't realize that my body has gigantic regeneration. No matter what attack you do, no matter what attack you land, no matter how hard you try, I will finish you off and eliminate you, Son Goku. <laughs> you will never be able to defeat me. Now say goodbye. At that moment, a big explosion happens. Everyone begins to raise their energies even more. The gigantic tower was being shown. No one else believed what they were being told. Wrath increasingly raised her powers. But in the blink of an eye, Goku's powers begin to increase even more in a totally exponential way. Belmont's wrath is frightened by Goku's strength. Goku says, I didn't want to do this, but I will have to because things are getting more complicated with you. It's sad to see the brainwashing that a god of destruction can do to a being. She believes that whatever happens that Belmont will recognize her. But she doesn't realize that she is just a puppet made by him. Now I understand why his name is the Joker of Universe 11. It seems that everything he's doing is just a game. This palace, the floor to get to it, are all trainings he himself performs on beings. Zamir, I'm sorry. There's nothing else to do. Goku starts to remember his fight against Zamasu and says, I fought guys who were actually even immortal. They had extremely powerful abilities. Nothing I can do to eradicate your body. But after realizing everything that was happening, this time, I'm going to show you the true energy of everything I'm capable of! At that moment, Goku charges directly at Belmont's wrath and says, Hakai! A large Hakai energy is released by Goku on wrath. Zami looks scared and says, What? It is impossible! How a single mortal can accomplish this? What technique is this? It is the same grandiose technique as Mr. Belmont. I will be proud to be eliminated by this technique. I seem to be seeing the same scam from Mr. Belmont himself. Goku with Hakai eliminates Zami's wrath. <sighs> Finally, I'm free. Thank you, Mr. Goku. At that moment, Goku seriously said, <laughs> I'll never forgive you, Belmont! To be continued. So hey, what do you believe and what do you imagine about all of this? Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you arrive exposing it in your comments so that we can enter to that crazy debate. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe here to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.